that level. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Dad Level. I'm your host, Pablo Man 44. Once again, here we are back in the grips of fear, about to play Little Hope. And I don't know if I'm ready. I'm ready. We're ready. You ready? I'm ready. I I enjoyed the first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. Um, well, this game isn't really done in episodes, but we got through the first part. So now we're heading into the second part, and I know it's just gonna it's just gonna get more and more intense. So if you're ready for it, and I'm ready for it. So let's not delay it any further. Let's go. Don't play alone. No, it always says that. We're playing alone. Continuing. Now, where we left off, you know, the whole bus crash. And then the crazy stuff started happening on our way walking to town. We came across a little um, pub with a very mysterious and creepy guy in it. And, you know, we left there and ended up... Well, that escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life. Well, this part right one. here, um, the music in the background um, gave me a Don't copyright me. strike, but not one that's I against my channel, but it just Remember. made it ineligible, ineligible for monetization. So I'm we hoping I can fix this for this episode as well. From a troubled dream. So Maybe I'm hoping so the, the talking over it is enough. Death. To where it's not really noticeable, um, and maybe we can mute it out of... I'm hoping we can mute it out. But if not, then we're just, you know, that's, this is my thing with these games with um, their music into it. We, they have to be careful for people like me. These unfortunate folks seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean... Sinister movements in the forest. Yes, the Spirits forest, that, the that part. So that's what I was girl. saying. We were walking, um, you know, we, we we went to the pub, met that guy, was creeped out, went out, and we're walking further, and then crazy anyway, things happened in the forest. Saw the little girl, and, and you know, other creepy other things. And now we're <laughs> picking up from where we left off, I guess. Tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps? Or perhaps he represents something else. Then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. I'm confused. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure I didn't get bumped in my head, but you help make some decisions that I'm confused why I started playing scary games. <laughs> and some we got may this turn stuff. out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar. Mm -hmm. He was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Pretty much. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Yeah. But Enough. something disturbing about him, period. Something He's sitting in an right empty, way. abandoned pub, the drinking alone. And he, Off you, go again. you know, obviously doesn't See own the joint. Lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Yeah, we gotta find the bus driver. Uh, here we are. Oh, a uh, rickety house. No, don't walk up to it. That little girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time. Exactly. Another place. Pretty much. You're right. Where's the rest of everybody? Why is everybody lagging behind? Now, would any of you walk into this house? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But of course we are. We have to. What is she looking at? She's looking at something. Is she looking at the other people? 
I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to see if anything else lights up. I mean, not walk too close to the to the um <laughs> woods cuz All right, so we got a note. Um not a note, a picture. Another picture of a gun. This time is being held to someone's head. The last time, you know, I guess the main protagonist, he had a gun in his hand. So, I don't know what the connection are, but we have to pay attention. We have to remember these for, um, you know, later on in the story. What the heck? Are you hearing that? Am I the only one hearing that? Something's going to jump out. Oh, of course. See that? <laughs> Some big ass animal. I hope so. If not, what the fuck? <laughs> Is this blood on the floor? Oh, no. Good. It's really dark. I'm sorry, guys. I get a better view from up there. It's just super dark in this game. So what you guys are seeing is pretty much what it is. Where the hell is the bus driver? How are we supposed to find our driver in this damn fog? How are we supposed to find anything in this fog? Only thing we're going to find is ourselves dead or in trouble. This is cray cray. Wait, where'd the other guy go? Wait, uh, was I supposed to? I was supposed to help him look look for something. Where did he go? Why am I wandering off? This is just me. Whoa! You see that? There's a light over there. Okay. Ghost towns of the northeast. Little hope. The town returning to nature. The abiding image of a ghost town in the popular imagination of an arid des desert shack, surrounded by tumbleweed. However, ghost towns exist even in the lush northeast of the United States, buried away in forests, forgotten and abandoned to nature. The reasons for towns to become ghosts vary, but inevitably comes back to economics. The town may have boomed from logging, mining, or industry. Then the jobs go, and the people with them. The aptly named Little Hope is one such town, a one-factory community built around textiles that disappeared when cheap imports overwhelmed the market. After many attempts to save the mill, it closed, and a mass exodus ensued. Soon, the school and even the church closed, leaving a desolate Ruin. That is Little Hope. Do they have to call it a ghost town because it's empty? I mean, does that make ghosts come and say, hey, this is a ghost town. That means we're welcome here. Let's go live here and let's haunt it. So anyone who comes and visits, you know, will haunt them too. Okay. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I'm like, where the heck did he go? Like, <laughs> he was far behind, I believe. Unless my mind is playing tricks on me. Oh, here goes another sign. Now let's read this. Little Hope Historical Society presents the Witch of Edmund of Edmonton. A play by W.M. Rowley Thos. I don't know what that says. Decker and John Ford. I don't know why that's what is Thos. Performed in historical dress at Little Hope Middle School. Saturday, April 7th. I mean, Saturday, 17th of April at 7 p.m. I'm a little, um, you know, right now. <laughs> okay. Did this have something to do with what we saw? I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. 
ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. That is, that is, you know, sadly true. You know, it's hard to tell which one is, you know, worse. A piece of lint flying down. I'm like, what the heck, man? <laughs> this is not the time for random lint. It's really dark, guys. And this this phone flashlight thing that they got going on, not very helpful. Whoa, who's watching us? I'm going to walk over here so that they stop because they think that I see them. Hopefully I'm not walking over here to her death. Okay. Let's <laughs> stay with everybody else. So, so far they're setting the tone for making me feel like something is going to happen, but nothing really happens. But the suspense is killing me. And not in a good way. It's making me feel like, yikes, man, yikes. Let's see. An abandoned tracker, tractor, or whatever. I don't know what's. Just ignore me. <laughs> this is the nervousness talking because I'm, I'm, I know jump scares are are coming. There's something up ahead. Oh, a sign for the middle school. Oh, and a foggy bridge. Which way? Can we move it? Exactly. <laughs> well, I don't want to stand still. Look at that. Hey, wait. Stop. Um, why are you asking it to stop? This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. <laughs> exactly. What the hell do we do now? Look at this guy's face. <laughs> I'll deal with this. Oh, come on. Stay right here. Oh, tough guy. Let's see. Let's see this guy deal with this. Be careful, please. No, let him go by himself. Hey, professor. Damn it. Just like what happened to us. You think the professor will be okay? Um. Uh, not the time for heroics. I know what he was doing. This is not the time for heroics. Little harsh. He could be in deep shit. I'm. I'm what just keeping it real. This was a mistake. I should have gone with John. He shouldn't have gone in alone. No, he shouldn't. Give yourself a hard time. All right. He's okay in there. I don't know. I can't tell if whatever it was in there meant us harm. Yeah, we we can't tell. I Just mean, hope he's okay. Well, I guess time will tell. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Do you have a bad feeling? <laughs> Oh, he's still there. I don't know if it's him. Are you okay? I lost my bearings. I couldn't see you through the thick fog. Did you see the little girl? I could see you back there. That's really odd because I sure couldn't see you. That's crazy. Your clothes look different and your accent was off. You sounded like an actor in some historical play. <laughs> it must have been someone else you saw. I teach you. I know you. I recognized your face. Whoever you saw, it wasn't me. Now please stop. You're scaring me. <laughs> I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go. Well, at least he's Fuck not that. dead. I'm trying another at least, way. At least he's with us this quick. Don't you kids watch horror movies? 
You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. No, splitting up is dumb. Without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No it's way not. am I going down there. Where are you where else are you gonna go? I mean, oh obviously God. everywhere is like this. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Let out, Granny. No one asked you. Yes, okay, but we all out. gotta go Can in we together. All just take a breath. Think about what our next move is. I guess someone should. Our go next with move him. should not be really? to separate. Be okay on my own, but sure. they keep re referencing horror movies. This is just Two like a horror movie. Likely to find a way and out. you know you can't Which separate because when you want, separate, right? that's when you get picked I guess apart. You're right. If the fog one by lets one. you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Wait, she's gonna go back. Oh, those two are gonna go back to to the bus. They're crazy. Faster than the others. Excuse me, I'm as sorry. As somebody does, I had dinner recently. <laughs> This is my back scratcher. My back is. <laughs> oh man, they're gonna walk back. Just to end up probably walking this way anyway, because the fog is not gonna let them through. Okay, I'm just bracing myself. Hold up. You hear that? Whoa. Where the heck is he going? Yo, now I gotta press buttons because this fool wanna... What the heck is going on? What's chasing us? Oh, it's the guy. Wait, first of all, how'd he get over there if he was at the pub? Okay here? We're good. That noise was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, but how did he get over here, there? There must be an easier way back up to the road. Oh, Let's gosh. Now we're in the woods. <laughs> Could it get any worse? For what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know... There were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. What the hell was that? Oh gosh, hope it was a deer. What is she looking at? What's up? We're gonna be concerned. You look worried. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. I am more or less, but something here just what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach. Um, we all tell have me our about own it. Way of coping. John here feels the urge to be our leader, the alpha male. Yeah, he's Daniel gonna get us Taylor or himself killed. Different, somewhat more animalistic urge. How do you deal with all this? <laughs> I'm a natural survivor. Tough marriage and. An even tougher divorce will do that to you. Of course. Of course, I'm sure you've already worked out that there is only one person you can truly rely on. Yourself? Don't give up on all of us just yet. Yes. If we stick together, <laughs> we will make it out of this mess. How did the sure relationship go down for that? You know, you sound just like Daniel. We should catch up with John. We should. We shouldn't be leaving anyone behind. We should have never split up. Those other two are crazy. All right, so what's, what's he got to say? Are you okay? Feels like Angela's constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? Let's see. Um, stay positive. I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Staying sure positive doesn't mean, you know, with whatever is going stop on being so arrogant. Like, I think he's mad arrogant. What we saw back there. What we saw was creepy. You think that was really supernatural? 
Yeah, it is looking sure that way. To look that way. Yeah, for sure. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. <laughs> whatever that was. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Let's see. Um, What's happening now is nothing like what happened back then. Yeah. Don't be so fast to dismiss what I'm telling you. Don't be so fast to dismiss that this stuff is cray cray <laughs> and scary. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. Um, and now, oh my goodness, some little shack in the middle of nowhere. Oh no. Where Wait. are you going? Oops. Oh, hey. That's my bad. I pressed the wrong. <laughs> I pressed it too. <laughs> I didn't mean to press the button. Great job. Glad you made it over. That was crazy. Right there. <laughs> I didn't mean to press anything. Sorry, I my bad. Like that. that was I'm more twitchy than I thought. Where's the lady? Thanks for coming after me. Huh? <laughs> if you two wanted to be together, you should have just said so instead of just taking off like that. Yeah, we missed you too. You're kidding. We couldn't stand to be away from you for a second longer. <laughs> He's right. We were both freaking out because we thought whatever was back in that hut might have eaten you. <laughs> I think that's very unlikely. The terrifying creature in the hut was in fact a cat. Let's carry Didn't on. Didn't sound like we? a cat. Didn't it sound like it sounded like a bear? Little whole police department. I thought it was the middle school trail. No, wait. Depend on which way we this went. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Or some guns. Maybe even our driver, too. Maybe a Look cops. Look for something we can break the glass with. Why would you need to break the glass? Oh, right. Abandoned town. So, you should have little hope that there's anyone here that can help you. Because the police station's boarded up. Oh gosh, here we go. Just don't jump scare me. A rock. That's big enough. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces, anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. <laughs> just saying. Can you stop talking? Really? Like, will what's going on? Just get on with it. Just don't The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. <laughs> exactly. The old strike. We'll make a ball player out of you yet. That wasn't difficult. You think a rookie can make a shot like that? Safe enough. I don't know about safe. Piece of cake. Slice of pie. You're up next. Okay, at least at least they changed scenes so she went in. Okay, so now let's see what's happening with these two. Well, they're ending up at the middle school. 
I thought they were walking back to the bus. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. Where, I mean, I don't understand where do you think you're going to go and... Whoa. There goes the little girl. And they didn't see that? noise i'm sure i'm sure it was nothing land for sale. surprise that didn't sell who'd want land in this godforsaken town okay here goes another sign okay so i guess i'm not reading that sign <laughs> Oh, this is so crazy. Wonder what closed the school down. Um, all this craziness. Get about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. You did. Hey, it was a collective decision. We'll find another way. We'll be nice. Let's play nice. Let's keep everybody, you know, who is together, happy with one another. Otherwise, it can get a little crazy. Oh, now we can read the sign. There goes the little girl again. Find another route out of a little hope. Stick together. Follow the little girl. Don't know why we want to follow the little girl. What does this sign say? Little Hope Bridge. Yep. In the playground. Oh. That's exactly where the little girl is going. Something like... They're just building it up. They're building us up right now. And and there, something crazy is going to happen. And, and I'm not ready for it. <laughs> I know I'm not ready for it. But I tell you, I love the graphics of this game. This game's graphics are awesome. Ooh, look. Something to read. Oh, it's a little girl's drawing. Why is it here? It's got a rock. Okay. All right, that's weird. No, what are you standing there for? Mm. This is... <laughs> oh, hey! Over there! Hey! Are you okay? Please be nice. Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? Yep, it I have is. No clue. I do. I'm telling Whoa, you, it is. You can't be you can't hear that. me. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, <what> <laughs> That didn't just happen. Quiet now. I'll be cool. What are you talking about? Get away, or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you are in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. This is <laughs> you will respect me and you will say nothing. I can't wait to uncover what the heck is going on here. What is this? Let's get out of here right now. Do not find me here. Please. Who are you pleading with? 
evil clings to you. That is plain to see. Wow. So it's like the two worlds have collided. The devil has no time for me. Her time and their time. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. What the fuck? <laughs> exactly. Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. That is crazy. I, I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time no. to go. Time to go. Right with you. I don't know why you're walking through this dank forest like this anyway. Look at this place. It's dark. It's creepy. Y'all crazy. I shouldn't have been out here in the first place. Should just stay by the bus. What's this? Another picture. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we have to keep her from being grabbed. I'm glad you're pulled here. down. She'll I'm die like here. that. Doesn't seem like that to me. What the heck is that? <laughs> I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't. Oh my goodness, if I was them, I wouldn't be doing this. I'd have been freaking out this whole time. Look at this. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. Okay. We gotta be, be careful, make sure I press the prompts correctly. So I don't mess up like I did with the cat. Are we going back to the other people? I don't think this takes nope. us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. This is crazy. It's super dark over here. I just want y'all to know. I'm going to walk away from this. Yo, what the heck? Uh-uh. No, no, no. What the heck is going on here? I found a secret. Rune stones. Oh no. Please don't let it shut down on me. <laughs> don't let yo I don't I don't know which way to walk. The walking angles is very tough. I don't know why. <laughs> it's super dark, so it's hard to see. Okay, so when things have light shining on them, it makes it easier. The place must have been a grocery store or something. All right, let's read the sign. Ah. Let's move that log. Over here, look at this. Hope for little hope. The carvers want to close the unreadable factory and sell the land. Unreadable development. Unreadable would result in the unreadable and devastate the community. The union has proposed an offer to save the factory and our town. Please sign our petition to persuade the Carver family to accept the union offer and reverse their decision. Ask for details from staff at the post office or town hall. Citizens for Little Hope and T Tulua Local 618. They were trying to save the town. But we know the town wasn't saved. Things went ill, and that's how it went. What's this? What oh, are you doing? Goodness. Oh my goodness. Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. <laughs> 
Let's go, let's go. Who's going in? That's my question. Let's look at this here. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. If I really have to. So I guess I had options and different ways I can go in. Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go first. Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I'm not sure. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. Be right back. At least I Promise. moved the thing over just in case, you know, she hears stuff going wrong. She can just climb up the thing and go inside. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. It's dark everywhere. Go Oh, too much pressure. All right, so we're going inside this old, janky, probably smelly and haunted supermarket. I'm in. Maybe Is the Twinkie safe? survived. Think so. You think so? You just got in. It's mad dark. You can't tell anything. Notice of closure. Effective June 28th, 1975. We wish to inform you that on Saturday, June 28th, the store will close. Sadly, due to the decline in business since the closure of the factory, we are unable to continue trading. However, Whitman Mart wishes to thank all its, all its customers for their support over the years. Yours, Jay Schmidt and A. Lash, General Managers. Stock to remove. Snacks crossed out, magazines, alcohol crossed out, firearms crossed out, tobacco crossed out, gas and oil crossed out, dairy crossed out, eggs crossed out, produce crossed out, bread crossed out, dry goods crossed out, cans, electrical goods, miscellaneous. Maybe Twinkies are still in there. Did they make Twinkies back then? I don't know. Let's have high hopes for Twinkies. Okay, nothing else here in this immediate vicinity. Oh gosh, this is really dark. And this is a tight hall, which is no fun. Hello? Am I gonna have to Anyone jump? There? Oh, he's gonna go down, all right. Ooh, flashlights. Here we go again. Why do I keep doing that? I keep doing that. I see that thing and... Hello? Who's there? You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? Yeah. I got company. It is rats. Of the rodent variety. Ooh, gross. Hopefully that's all that's Relax. in there. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Oh, and I got to walk to the front to meet her. And there's going to be more than freaking rats, aren't there? Hold on. I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. Hopefully it's her. Oh. 
Angela? How the hell? The back door is locked. What troubles you? Tell me. What is happening? Sona will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? This is all crazy. They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? <laughs> you talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? <laughs> See, I don't understand I if... If this is, like... If, if any of this is real, like... No, I want to confront. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? <laughs> what? I don't know you. John? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Something ails you. What? You seem changed, even your attire. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our world. This is crazy. What plan do we have? I don't know which is real. Office. Like, my word on it. Are they living in reality? Or is this part the reality? Marshal. Are they ancestors? Or, like, I don't. <laughs> this is crazy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not. <clears throat> I will find a way to resolve this. This is all. <laughs> this is all crazy. Like, you, you can't make sense of any of this. Just open the door, man. Where the hell have you been? Y'all thought that was somebody standing behind her. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? Yeah, of course we did. This was different. I think they could see and hear me. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. <laughs> you see anything else? Priest. The one from the playground. Yep. I, I don't know. It, it didn't make much sense. None of this makes yeah. sense. No. I don't know where this is all going. He was real scared. Like, he believed the devil was in little hope. Holy shit. What in the hell are we mixed up in here? <laughs> oh, really it's deeper than here. just Instead being mixed up. This awful place, we're right back you guys in the are town. all the exact replicas of these people. What the heck? Come on, y'all. We don't have time for this, yo. <laughs> we don't have time for this. We're going to get up. To where the other guys are? What do you think? Let's look around. Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Nobody helped her in. This place is a real dump, even for this shithole town. Everything looks exactly the same. Not... Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. Have you got a big time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? <laughs> These small town police stations all look the same. Don't they? I feel like there's three different time zones tied into this. You're deluded if you think there's for some reason. Place is dead. 
Because he didn't come from that olden town, that other, like, century or whatever the heck is going on with them, those other people in their accent. But he isn't from this present time either. What happened with, you know, his family and his sister and burning down. His sister's that little girl. That was different. That seemed like a different era. Era. And it just seems like now we have all these different... Reynolds. I can't pick it up and look at it? No, I want to look at it. There we go. Oh, Little Hope Police Department. That's the patch. Oh gosh, every time there's lockers, something jumps from the lockers. It's almost inevitable. Should I go in here first? The cells. Of course. I've lost everything. Everyone lost everything in this town. The town went to a dump and became a ghost town. Because somebody... Somebody didn't want... I guess they made a decision to... To not fund something. Something happened. Okay, so it's locked. That means we gotta find a key. Hopefully we find a key before we find some trouble. Now get out of my way, man. Oh my goodness. Let's go over here. Maybe Keep we'll Keep looking. Oh, my picture. No, it's a plaque. Township of Little Hope. Certificate of Commendation. Presented to Little Hope Police Department. On January 16th, 1972, officers George Reynolds and Ernie Hoffman responded to a call concerning a house fire. Arriving before the fire service, the officers, with no concern for their own safety, rushed into the house to attempt to rescue the family members trapped inside. Tragically, many lives were lost as they were beaten back by the flames. However, the mayor, chief of police, and a grateful public thank the police department for the continued dedication to service. April 4, 1972. Samuel A. Carver, mayor. That seems like it was his house. It was his his family. But like I said, like that then that ties in another like time frame, like a time zone, like time like an era. Like it's it's just bringing a whole bunch of stuff together right now. Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. Uh, it's broken. I mean, there are no police in the area. The police station's boarded up. I don't know what you guys expect to accomplish. <laughs> this is this is a very crazy situation they're in. Let's read the sign. What? Old Witch Real Gale, nice. built 1684, demolished 1783. In 1692, during the Little Hope Witch Trials, many of the accused were imprisoned here. Mm, this is where they put witches back in the witch trial times. What's this? Another locked door. Now, I don't know if we're going to find a key or there's just a different exit. Like, we have to find a different door. Ooh, a phone. We have a winner. 
found a phone. Yeah, but the, you know, the radio you found yeah. was was cut. Phone line's dead, isn't it? Line's dead. <sighs> like we're gonna be if we don't get out of here, man. Shit! I wouldn't Whoa. make all that noise. Hey. Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. <laughs> yeah, he's the quick to overreact. Search for phone cable. Dude, we're going to search for phone cable, but that doesn't mean we're going to find a phone cable or that it's going to work when we do find a phone cable. If we find a phone cable. Can, I can't get over there. It won't let me in there. Okay, so forget it. Let's get out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Phone cable. What the heck is this? Secret found. TC. Hippie artifacts. I don't want to find hippie artifacts. I want to find the cable. Whoa. What is that? <laughs> Come on, man. How's the phone ringing with no wire? Oh, my goodness. What do you think? Answer it. Let's think about this. Wait. Let's think about this. Oh my goodness. It's not gonna stop ringing. Answer the goddamn phone! Hey, come on! Be a man for once in your miserable life! I mean, you gotta understand, Fine. lady. Hello? Who is this? Need to engage. Say something to him. How did my talk relationship to? go down? Whoever it is on this call is having some kind of breakdown. They sound delusional. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. Do not hang up. This is our best shot at finding out what's going on here. You know, you know you're not. <laughs> you're not gonna find out. What the? Ah! No! Oh my god, yo! <laughs> oh my goodness. Come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. It looks like the same at one of the same actors from Man of Medan. We have an understanding, do we not? Shall the more I look at him, but it could just be or the edge of a word about this. Um, I've seen pictures of, of this, um, of this game before, so I'm confused. A reckoning that will shut you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with you, kin. I beseech this court and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. This is the oh, what is this with the no face? They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against me. Hush, no, Why does this person have no face? What the hell should we do? Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No between the two of you. We can't leave this poor woman to face them all alone. I beg you not to abandon me. By all that is holy. With this poor woman, she looks just like woman. you. You're not freaking out. Even though I have seen this with my own eyes, I scarcely believe it. Amy is lost to us. Even now, she pleads for evil spirits to remain by her side. <laughs> you must help me. I beg you. She can hear us. She can hear us. If she can, then maybe others can too. I would ask the court to hear direct testimony. A witness who saw with her own eyes this is crazy. Part in some unspeakable satanic ritual. 
In the woods outside of this very town. Reverend Carver, you mislead us all. Forgive me, good judge. <laughs> they gotta be freaking my out. Wife, I'll be freaking accused, out. And I know her to be innocent. I would not be so quick as to cast These people look just like them. Judge. And they're not looking at these people. It's not best scrutiny. <laughs> Please hear me, good judge. All accusations against me are false. They're founded only in malice. If there be darkness here among us, I will shine. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? Oh, goodness. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? This is crazy. We will the see the truth. People used to think like this. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. If I am correct, your touch will release her from this affliction. But they were so it must be so if you were the like... one who bewitched her. No, we're gonna have fear. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. We're gonna make things worse. <laughs> Master, can I help you out? It's too late. No, no. They are here among us. They are here among us. Oh, my goodness. No. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hole? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Mm. Protect yourself. This is crazy. Seek out the Lord. And then it's gone. <laughs> Oh my goodness. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. And then it's gone. Like I can't believe how much that woman looked like me. Exactly. How in the hell is that even possible? When you first told me, I thought you were messing with me or exaggerating. <laughs> but seeing that woman for myself was a whole world of weirdness. <laughs> I know he saw that guy that looked just like him. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? <laughs> yeah, that is the girl we saw in the woods. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Exactly. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by so could this be? See, now like I'm trying to piece this stuff together. Took perverse pleasure in if something happens to those people, come on, she's just some little kid who most likely doesn't get how big a deal the whole thing is. So if something happens exactly to those people in the witch way, trial, will trial, it happen to them? Angela 2.0. Like if that she old like she lady, the the old the and the lady, so old others. version. Dies, You're will right she die? That. They definitely saw us. A little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere? Could easily believe that was witchcraft, especially back then. Dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid. I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happen to see each other. How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? Exactly. That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah, it was tough to watch for sure. I noticed something else weird. Uh-huh. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. Yeah, I know he saw it. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? <laughs> oh, no. Who's that? Hey, Professor! Oh, it's them. You in there? Come on, let's go.
Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. We can't either. They must be locked. They are locked. We need a key. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Oh, we got it. Don't know how that works, Taylor. but we, we did it. Professor, find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. Exactly. <laughs> I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know, exactly. You're devil, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused, tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's going to happen to her next? Yeah. I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? You gotta touch something. We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. Which one? What the hell? Oh gosh. Is this where we take a break? Because this is a lot. <laughs> This, this is, is a great story, crazy. man. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. Yeah. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. Yeah, and you, I don't know what's wrong with you. Stop flirting with him, and that's your so-called boyfriend there. Oh. Here we go. We're back on the road again. Oh, now I'm the professor. Now what is this house? Should I walk over to the side the for this house? Worse. Yes. Let's see if we find something here. What does this say? Tilly Johnson. Taylor, you need to see this. Vandalized statue. Oh, that does look like her. You've got to be kidding me. What is that thing? You ever have any family here? In this shithole? <laughs> no way. Why does that weird fucking thing look like me? <laughs> Let's read what it says. Can we read what it says? I want to read what it says. Tilly Johnson, 1836 to 1858, a promising young author who died tragically after writing her first novel. Ooh, that sucks. Just getting it going. Wow. Okay. So, um, can I look at this house anymore? This creepy house? What about the stairs over here? I'm I, like, I shouldn't be walking over here around this. Oh, we can't? Okay, good. Good. <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to. But I felt like I should, you know? It's how these games work. Oh, hold on. My headphones. This hat, like, is, like, making the top of my head itch because it's not touching it. But, it, like... It's pulling the hair. It's like tickling the hair at the top. I can feel it. Okay, let's see. This doesn't look like it's legible. Wait, what? Hail rock and roll. Deluce or Deluce, I don't know. Periculum. Father of Fire, Jeweled Curse. The Roadhouse, 322 Palm, Palmyra, $2.50, 8 p.m. Saturday, February 12th. Doesn't have a date. I don't know what this is. Daniel, you need to see this. What's going on? Another coincidence. See what I mean? This guy looks just like you. Recognize him? No. This is like three different time periods, all meshed in.
I'm, I'm, I'm like paying attention, guys. We gotta, we gotta pay attention because it's all the creepiness going on. There's a lot of information we have to, you know, retain because you never know. You know, you gotta remember a lot of stuff. Okay, here we go. Back to the bridge. Different bridge. Creepier bridge. Bunch of holes in the bridge. Can't see for shit. Jesus. Come on, y'all. The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. No, it looks like we've come to a point where we're going to have to... Okay. Who's first up? Really, um, like... Professor? <laughs> this, is, this is... This is... So... Um... We're going to... Maybe we need to check all our other options first. Right. Thought so. Come on. Oh, I thought he was, like, checking the other options, like... Maybe we could find a different way to go. I want off this bridge as fast as possible. But not that fast. Someone has to go first. You leave. I'll be right behind you. Ah, <sighs> whatever. <laughs> Why would you jump over? Oh, goodness. Hey! Oh, the fog. The fog is taking them. My God. What do we do? We can't stay here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> In this year of our Lord, 1692, we oh, are well, they find the witch trial, trial like they found when they're going to no! try to execute her. Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch. All those sorcerers. other people have no face. In silence for us so this is all like weird and creepy I do right no now. Wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. What's going on? What? Why do you look like Angela? Your words have little meaning to me, but I beg you. Help me. <laughs> this is not helping her cause right now. The devil now. is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. Oh my goodness. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. We have to help her. We can't let this happen. You cannot do this. Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Help me. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Little Orp is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons. We are poison from within. This is crazy. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. If Lil Hope has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, Lil Hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference. This is crazy. Very this is very good acting. Isaac. This motion capture was like on point. Oh no, we didn't save her? Oh, she died again. She died by fire, now she died by water. We just stood there. Oh no. She died by water. Oh my 
goodness. What did you see? Tell me. No. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Your double was pushed into the river in chains. She drowned. We have to keep her from falling. Oh no. Something's gonna try to pull her into the river. That was that, that, that thing we saw on the picture. From the picture? They gotta stop standing on these, like, Rickety right, little pieces of concrete on this bridge. Okay, you two, get on down here. What about the rest of them? Oh my goodness. What the hell is that? We gotta protect her. What is that what thing? The... Get away from it! Oh, it's the lady. Run! Get the hell out it's of here! It's the witch version. My Give thing is, can I prevent the pr the premonition? Hey, from some me bad things here. happening. Hold on, hold on. I'm coming back for you, John. Hold on. Reach up and grab my hand. Here we go. Jump up and grab onto me. Come on. Yes, trust him. Okay, I trust you. Which button? Okay. Any other button? Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> what other button? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we, we saved her from it. Good, good, good choice. <laughs> That's the old version of her, yo, chained up. Well, guys, that, <laughs> that right there is a good way to end this video. That was crazy. And I, I know we made the right decision. I know selecting to save her instead of him was the right decision because of that picture showing the chains grabbing her ankle and her being dragged and her head hitting. You know she was gonna die that way. So saving her and helping her climb out of it means she didn't have to do it herself. And we could have still made it happen if we let her say, no, I'll do it myself and not let him help her. So make those are the right decisions. We kept her alive. And then, you know, the professor was able to climb up on his own. Um, so so far so good we're keeping everybody alive um this is this this game is really good i love this story it's it's leaving you like puzzled like and it's making me want more because i don't know what exactly is going on but i'm having ideas and i do seriously feel like there's three timelines being tied in all at once so i i can't wait to find out more about the timelines and what's going on so i guess on the next video you know we'll dive into it more i mean i guess this is the end of that part and we'll deal with what happens next um on the next one i don't want to start another one because then we'll go for another hour or so <laughs> who knows um and i thank you guys for watching this video thank you for for watching my channel um hope you guys are liking this so far um hope you hope you watch the first video first um we're going to continue the series. I don't know how many parts this is, but we're going to keep it going. Um, this is an interesting story. It's playing out like a wonderful old horror movie. It feels if it's good. Like, I, I love this. I love this kind of stuff. So I hope you guys love it with me. 
make sure you like share you know hit the subscribe button subscribe to the channel you know and make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you know the next time i post a video um you know and make sure you you know comment let me know how you feel about this video give me your thoughts on this theory i have of three timelines being tied in because i really do think there's three timelines going on at the same time um there's just not much being talked about about the second timeline which is the timeline that the kid you know and the little girl they were brother and sister and the house burned because she was talking to the evil spirit so it's true that she may be tied into the whole you know evil spirit thing and she's causing all this problem you know even the old the you know older time centuries ago version of her you know so it's it's crazy but once again i thank you guys i'm pablo man 44 and i'm having a wonderful time playing little hope and i'll see you on the next one Peace and love. Oh no. Oh no, there's a fire, run! Shit!